stand. I've got my planer underneath there. Um, I, haven't built a tool, I haven't got a tool yet for the top or the flip side, so um, it works really easy. Reach down and pull on the planer. And this is a little tight, so once you get it up there, you just put one in and it stays. So. Um, and obviously, um, one of these slots is a little small, but it goes in there. And uh, on this, as you can tell, I had, to, I had to make some mounting brackets for this because there's no place to uh, bolt it down. Um, there was, there's like four holes inside here, um, bigger holes. I could probably run some long bolts through, but I didn't have any. So I made these... Um, brackets to work because um, these this right here there's a there's a machine screw that the hole is already threaded into the side of this for the outfeed supports which um, when I bought this used it didn't come with them so I just found a, um, a screw a machine screw that would thread into those holes and I made these I cut these uh, pieces of steel or I think they're steel with my angle grinder and bolted them, screwed them to this base, uh, to this top. And for this, let me show you without, the side of, or the, the pole that roll, runs through is a, a piece of conduit. So uh, it's about, it's over an inch thick. I think it's an inch and three eighths um, outside diameter. And I didn't have a hole saw big enough, so I had to find the smallest one I didn't have one for the exact size, so I had to find the smallest one that I had, and then I used a uh, a little drum sander attachment for my on my drill, and I just enlarged the hole until this would fit in there. And so, with that being said, I had some extra soft wood here that I put in the middle of this for support, so the so the conduit can run through the middle of this. Um, so I could have used three quarter inch pipe or half inch pipe, which is what I had. And I didn't really want to use that, so I just had what I had, or I used what I had on hand, and I cut this flush with the end, and then I ran some screws. I drilled a hole um, straight through, and so it doesn't. Um, this pipe doesn't rotate. Um, this top rotates inside of that um, piece of conduit, and it works good. Um, Obviously, if you want to check out uh, Brad from Fix This, Build That, he has a YouTube channel and Instagram account. This is where I got the idea from, and also got some inspiration from um, DIY Tyler. Um, so Tyler G, DIY Tyler on YouTube, and Fix This, Build That. So thanks, guys, for the awesome inspiration on this, on this build. It's I'm not showing you how to do it. Brad from Fix This, Build That has has a free plans, free set of plans to build this, uh, but you're obviously going to have to modify the dimensions to fit your specific planer. Mine, I think it sits taller than Brad's because I, um, I wanted it to be in a comfortable height. So when I put my um, other tool, which I'm going to leave this for a surprise. Um, so when I build the other tool, make the other tool, put the other tool on the, on the flip side, it will it will be at a comfortable height instead of super low to the ground. I made my shelf a little bit, you can't see the shelf down there, maybe you can't. But the shelf underneath here is gonna be for a drawer that I make. Um, I made that a little bit taller than Brad's uh, from Fix This Build That. And my, my casters aren't locking on the bottom, so I don't think it's gonna be a problem yet. If I find that I need some locking casters, then I probably will um, invest in some. They're about, I think they're five inch casters. I, I, this was all reclaimed wood, so I didn't spend a dime on this build at all. This is again all reclaimed plywood. And if you saw my, if you're subscribed to my, or if you follow me on my Instagram channel, you'll see that I uh, picked this up. Also on Facebook, I shared it with a I like to make stuff group, Facebook group. I shared that there. <coughs> all the free plywood, and actually, what was really cool is that. The width of this plywood, I didn't rip any of this plywood down. It was already ripped to this width, which is like 16 inches, I believe. Um, anyways, it was already sized to the dimension that I needed, so all I did was cut it to, to the length that I needed, to the height. Um, 
I'm not going to give you the specific dimensions. Like I said, you can check out Brad from Fix This, Build That. And he can, he's, he's got a free set of plans um, on his website. It's really cool. The only thing that I, I did several things is things differently if, you'll, if you check his article out. Um, I did several things differently on the construction of it. I used basically pocket hole screws to, to, uh, uh, for the construction of the cabinet. It was very simple to put together. Um, obviously the hardest part was um, this whole top, the split top part with the pipe and everything. So you can basically use any kind of pipe or steel rod. Um, threaded rod I would steer clear from because it's just, I don't think it's as strong. So basically you're going to find a pipe that, and you want, the, you want the height of this middle layer to be, the thickness of this middle layer to be the same as the thickness of the outside diameter of this pipe, whatever pipe you use. Um, so Brand used a three quarter inch and so he, he just had three layers of plywood. Um, certainly I could have gone out and buy, bought one, but I didn't. I wanted to use what I had on hand, and this is really going to work out really nice. Um, so, again, the flip top stand is, is for, you know, obviously for two, two tools that you can have in the same space. So, we're, so when you're not using the planer, you flip it down, and whatever tool, um, generally it's like a, a rigid oscillating spindle sander or anything that will fit on this space and down below as you flip it. So obviously the idea is when you're not using the planer and you want to use whatever tool, whether it's a sander or you can even incorporate a drill press, um, you can flip it up over and use it and flip it over. Um, I'm still going to see if my miter saw is going to fit on this. I don't know. I haven't measured it yet, but <clears throat> I've got an idea. Maybe my miter saw will fit underneath this. Or as far as the only thing that I'm concerned about is the width here. My miter saw is going to fit because I don't like the current... Um, uh, place where my miter saw is at right now. So I might try, <coughs> excuse me, I might try and put my miter saw on the other side of this and then I could put some wings that flip up for support um, when I'm using my miter saw, which would be nice. So we'll see. Um, but again, thanks for watching. If you don't, if you don't already subscribe to my channel, I hope you would. Um, I've got a couple of projects coming up in the works and uh, I'm not sure if you can see my face or not, so I'll bend it out. So I've got some, I've got a couple cool projects coming up that I'm excited about to start. I'm going to be building a couple, at least one tool that I know of that I'm really excited for. Um, got some inspiration, and I watched several YouTube videos that I got the inspiration for for this project. It's going to be, um, I won't tell you what it's going to be. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be a one-part series or a two, three-part. Um, but I, I generally post things to Instagram and Facebook, so if you're not all, already following me on Facebook, it would be great if you already if you follow me. Um, that, that way you can keep up to date on, on the things that I'm working on. Um, certainly head over to Instagram. Um, just search for my name, Joshua, Joshua Luther, and you'll come up and you'll find my account and you can follow me there. Um, and I'll have pictures of this there and... Um, yeah, I don't have a, I don't yet have a website, so if you don't, the, the two places that mainly that you can follow me is Facebook and Instagram. Um, so search for my name there on Instagram and Facebook and follow me, and um, I hope you guys uh, like this, and I hope you got some inspiration, and just go out there and make it. If you're uh, not sure about building it, um, I was very, again, I was fortunate enough to find the reclaimed plywood, otherwise I wouldn't have built it. I probably would have gone out and bought a sheet of plywood. Um, but I was very fortunate enough to find it. But again, if you, if you would, subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up to date and see what's coming in the future on my channel. And follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And you guys have a good one, and God bless.